The Chicago business scene is as diverse as the city itself, but we don't always hear from the entrepreneurs who keep the Chicago economy colorful. That's where I come in. I'm Mikai Brown, and this is the Minority Report. Does it count as climbing the ladder if you started at the top? Neil Sales Griffin went from being Northwestern student body president to heading up one of the brightest developments in Chicago's tech landscape, the Starter League. In less than two years, he's taught more than 700 students from 12 countries a crash course on web design and development. Along the way, he's established himself as a man to know in Chicago's business community, consulting with leading venture capital firms, OCA Ventures, and Sandbox Industries, and teaching entrepreneurship at his alma mater, all at the tender age of 26. Now, this is what really attracted me to you, is the fact that you're 26, and you have a roommate. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am 26. How did this roommate, roommate situation come about? Yes, yeah, so uh, when I graduated from college, I worked a little bit in venture capital, but then when I, I, I left to start you know, this school that I have now, I called up a good friend of mine. Uh, his name's Mike McGee. He, ends up, he ended up being my co-founder. And I convinced him to move in with me. And I was living with my dad at the time to save on money. So I kicked my dad out of his own home. How do you kick your father out of his own home? Well, I had to convince him to leave because I basically negotiated fair terms. So I said, hey, I'm going to move in, Mike, so he and I can start a company out of the apartment. And I need you to leave, but I'll pay you rent so you can get a nicer place with our money. So that's how I convinced him to leave. It took like three days. Three days for him to get three the heck days. out of No, there. it took three days to convince him oh. that I wasn't an idiot for quitting my great job. How did you get the balls to just say, I'm going to quit my job? No one quits their nine to five without a definite yeah. plan. Yeah, I don't know. For me, I go all in. I'm the all in type of person. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? The only way I'm going to know how to do this is if I go all in and I drop everything and I put 100% of my time, energy, and focus on learning how to make my ideas real with technology. So I dropped everything. I dropped everything. I saved up enough money to get by for a few months. And once that money ran out, I started working a part-time job so that I could pay for the rest. How did you not get burnt out? I would go crazy. Yeah, that's my superpower. So I'm not good at a lot of things, but one thing I'm good at is just working really hard all the time. So in all, the, all of my life, I haven't burnt out. So what is the Starter League? Yeah, so the Starter League is software education for the rest of us. For the, so, who is the rest of us? The rest of I us. I can learn software? You can learn how to build software. Well, I mean, I like lip gloss. Could, it, could there be a like software to help me with lip gloss? Do you like this color? I like Carmex. I love that's Carmex. A great, that's a it's great so color. good. Have you ever tried the cherry flavor? Yes, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, don't, Carmex! Don't leave it in the car when it's hot because yeah, then it'll it be this liquid. Yeah, because it will squirt all out. Yeah, it's bad. So you want to build a, a lip gloss app. Yes. Okay, so you could. So if you wanted to, a lot of our students, they come to our program and they build apps based on fun things that they think of or cool business ideas that they have. So the way it works with the Starter League is our design of the program was really based off of harnessing one's intrinsic motivation to learn. You were introduced to snowboarding from people that don't look like you. Yeah. And you were saying that you bring in pieces of your culture to others and to help right. them learn about you. What are so, some of those pieces? What do they look like? Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't want to be too stereotypical, but one of my fondest memories is I actually was fortunate enough to work in venture capital before starting this business. And I remember taking the, the partners in the firm to Harold's Chicken Shack. Did they get mild sauce? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, so yeah, salt and pepper, mild sauce. Dave Chappelle's no back. Way. He's doing stand up. But one of the things he said in one of his stand-ups from before, which I love, is, you know, because people say, oh, black people like chicken and watermelon. And he said, you know what? If you don't like chicken and watermelon, something's wrong with you. <laughs> so everybody, it's not even just a black thing. It's, it's just, just like whatever. Like, we likes, all like we it. We all like but it. But anyway, uh, that's just a funny example. Right. But more culturally for us, what I bring to this tech community is um, more perspective and empathy towards I think uh, some of the interests of minorities. Like I have this reoccurring nightmare that I'm in the ocean and it's pitch black and a huge whale is coming at me and I can't swim fast enough. So you're in this dark ocean. 
this whale is coming at you and you probably have 30 seconds left before you're engulfed. Mm. And if you can go out with one line, right? Just one line. <laughs> Cause the whale's coming. Cause forward. the whale's coming. And it's like, <laughs> and this one line will be recorded in history. All I think of is onto the next one. <laughs> I like it. Onto the next one. It's, it's that's a Jay-Z song, one. but anyway. Onto like, the next onto one. Onto the next onto one. Onto the next yeah. one. Yeah.